The parts of a flower are so constructed that very, very often the wind will cause pollination. If not, then a bee or any other nectar-gathering creature can create the same situation. Yes, anything that gets the pollen to the pistols right on the list. The order Hymenoptera includes ants, bees, wasps, and sawflies. With the exception of the sawfly, all members display eusocial behavior, have wasp waists, and can sting. How, however, only the females can. Every single species of ants are eusocial, all, while some species of bees and wasps are eusocial. The hierarchy of eusocial insects generally consists of the queen who mates and reproduces, who work, her workers who find food, defend the colony, and take care of the eggs and larvae, and the drones who mate with the queens. Female sawflies have saw-like ovipositors instead of a stinger in order to lay her eggs. Bees and some species of wasps are important pollinators in nature and in society. The western honeybee is the biggest pollinator and is highly valued in the food industry. Honeybees are raised commercially as pollinators and for pollen, honey, beeswax, venom, and other products. According to Pollination Facts, they contribute over $14 billion to the value of the U.S. crop production. One third of the human diet can be traced directly or indirectly to honeybee pollination and about 130 crops in the U.S. are pollinated by bees. Some crops like almonds and pumpkins can't reproduce without bees while others like grapes and strawberries can reproduce without them, but their maximum yield is greatly increased. Honeybees are also valued for other products delivered from pollination such as honey and beeswax. The former had an annual value of $1.6 to $5.7 billion. The blue wing wasp, or the digger wasp, is another pollinator. They are not eusocial and therefore not as aggressive as eusocial wasps. However, females will sting if handled or provoked. Adults and larvae are beneficial. Adults drain nectar in which pollen might rub off them and be carried to another flower. Larvae feed on green June beetle grubs and Japanese beetle grubs. This is very beneficial because adult Japanese beetles feed on vegetables, ornamental flowers, shrubs, and trees. The larvae feed on roots and are considered a pest in lawns and golf courses. Green June beetle larvae can cause da lawn damage by eating grass roots. Females will find a grub and paralyze it. She'll dig a cell around it and then lay a single egg on the grub. The larva will hatch, eat the grub, and pupate inside of it. Adults visit open or shallow flowers. Another important pollinator is the common eastern bumblebee. As its name implies, its range is east coast to the midwest. They pollinate flowers, numerous fruit, and vegetable crops, including tomatoes, blueberries, and new cucumbers. The hairs on their bodies serve a dual purpose, to collect and trap pollen and to make them look adorable. Commercially, bumblebees in general are used as assistant pollinators to honeybees because the bumblebee's longer labium and vibrating wings make them more efficient pollinators for some plant species like tomato flowers. They can also pollinate in cool and unfavorable weather better than honeybees and other species of bees. Commercial honeybee colonies are used more for open fields while commercial bumblebee colonies are used more for greenhouses. Because of the bumblebee's high success rate of pollination, it has been introduced to the west coast and to overseas. Success of and any harm from these introduced populations have yet to be determined. The cabbage white is found almost everywhere in the United States and is considered an agricultural pest to crops such as cabbage, kale, cauliflower, and other plants in the mustard family. The larvae caterpillar feed on these crops while adult caterpillars feed on nectar which allows them to be classified as pollinators. As you can see, the cabbage white is recognized by its white wings with charcoal tipped forewings. The males have one black spot on their wings and the females have two black spots on their wings. The hind wings tend to be a shade of either white, pale yellow, or grayish white. These butterflies tend to have a wingspan of about 1.5 inches, deeming them among smaller butterflies in the order Lepidoptera. The clouded sulfur displays sexual dimorphism. Males have yellow wings with distinct dark margins, while females have yellow to greenish-white wings with less distinct margins. 
Adults feed on nectar while caterpillars feed on legumes. In a year's time, clouded sulfurs can produce several generations. Unlike the cabbage white butterfly, the monarch has a large wingspan of 3 and 3 eighths to 4 and 7 eighths inches. Adults primarily feed on nectar from milkweeds, but also feed on lilacs, red clover, sunflower seeds, and a variety of other flowers when milkweeds are not in season. Monarchs have a range from southern Canada throughout the United States into central as well as South America in which they tend to enjoy open meadows, marshes, fields, and weedy areas. Now you see just how the stamen gets its lusty dust onto a stigma. And why this frenzy chlorophyllous orgy starts its brain.